Hey guys, what's up? If you're new here, hi, my name is Jacob. I am a beauty boy turned beauty boss. Yeah, that kind of works. Create a lot of vlog style videos on here, as well as makeup tutorials. If you guys are interested in that kind of content, be sure to subscribe. Let's see how I achieved this look, which literally made me get ID at a casino. I'm 28 years old. Keep on watching. <laughs> so here is a makeup look that I did for the ABIA Awards, right? Very demure, glowy vibes, but like snatch, natural, natural. Now, not only did I get so many compliments on my skin, bitch got asked for ID. Sorry, it wasn't them scanning everyone's fucking driver's license so they can monitor who's where. Security guard literally saw me walking into the casino and goes, Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on, show me your ID. Sorry. And I looked at him and I was like, I'm 27. And he's like, show me your ID, mate. So I showed him my driver's license and he, <laughs> he saw it, he puts it down and he goes, You look good. <laughs> It was so fucking funny. If you guys haven't seen the ABIA vlog, be sure to go and watch that because it is hysterical. The legal age to get into a casino in Australia is 18 years old, which means that he thought I was 17, which is insane. Obviously, I did something right. So anyway, I'm going to show you today that exact makeup look that is so simple. The majority of these products are drugstore as well, which is amazing. I've already moisturized my skin, but I'm going to go in with this Smashbox primerizer just to add a little bit more hydration to my skin. And especially because we're going to be using quite a lot of powder, load up on your moisturizer. The next thing that I popped on was the McKay Beauty 8 Hours of Sleep Eye Masks. These are still not available for purchase just yet. Not for any reason. I just haven't put them on the website. If you guys want them, let me know. They do such a good, and I'm not, I'm not blowing smoke up my own ass. I'm being a hundred percent serious. I should really do some more marketing on this because th this product is incredible. And they're under eye masks, right? You put them on, they hydrate, whatever. Especially on clients who are more mature, these quite literally reduce the appearance of fine lines within 15 minutes. I'm not even kidding. Sometimes I will use these on the smile lines or use them on the forehead. Always, always, always pop them right under the eye. Silky and hydrating and cooling. Maybe I should put them, maybe, by the time this video goes up, these will be on the website. I'll put them on the website, all right? So if you want them, you can have it. Because I don't gatekeep, we share the love. I'm gonna let these marinate under my eyes for a few minutes. Go ahead and fill in my brows. So, brow pencil is, of course, my benefit precisely. My brow pencil, I have been using this for six years now, seven years. Easy. By the time you guys watch this video, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I'm post-op at this point. Right now, as I'm filming this, I am one week before surgery, so very exciting, but quite nerve-wracking. It's been about 20 minutes, so I'm going to take these off. I'm just going to pat in all of that goodness. The next product that I used, which I was very surprised how well this photographed, was the Rimmel Multitasker and Better Than Filters Primer. I think this is meant to be like a little Charlotte Tilbury dupe love, but this kind of slayed, I'm not gonna lie. I apply it quite liberally, like I apply it a lot. Don't worry, I don't use this on clients, hence why I'm using it straight from the applicator. For the start of the show, the foundation. The foundation that I use is not actually a foundation that I was expecting to fall in love with as much as I have. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint. This is where it's at. I am obsessed with this. I love the texture of this foundation. It's not too, not too thick. It's not heavy. Really, really lightweight formula. Concealer is always the same for me. It's heart shaped hair. Cannot go wrong with this concealer. It just gives what the skin needs 99.9% .9 of the time. If you have extremely dry under eyes, I would probably go for the Hourglass Vanish or Unsized Butter Silk. The One Size Butter Silk is, I think, next to this in being like my holy grail. And as you can see, just brightens up the under eye with this concealer. I have even like mixed in other foundations with this concealer. Like for example, MAC Face and Body mixed with Shape Tape Concealer. Game over. Okay, another concealer. <laughs> this is the Too Faced Born This Way. I don't like the Born This Way line. Okay, the foundation is gorgeous on the skin for the first 10 minutes and then it creases like a fuck. So the only product that I actually have liked from the line is the concealer. Concealer is really hydrating, actually quite comparable to Tarte Shape Tape, but a more hydrating formula. Dot, two little dots like that on my cheek, obviously, as you can fucking see. Maybe you're blind, I don't know. I'm gonna go in with the Fernando Hervas foundation brush. Pat this all 
all out. The reason why as well I like to go for a, a concealer to add color and dimension back to the face. It adds a little more coverage so if you have breakouts on your cheeks it's not going to kind of disturb the foundation underneath. I just find them easier to blend most of the time. When you're blending out your bronzer, you do not want to come past the center of your eye or even like the outer part of your pupil, like your iris. The reason why is because no one's cheekbones come, come to this part. Anything it drags your face down. So I always like to go with my foundation brush, whatever's left over on it and really diffuse out from the center of the face outwards. Now, whatever's left over on the brush, I'm gonna run that into my forehead. Also, just gonna run it over my nose. Next step is to set in place. Now, you guys know I use a lot of powder. I have a very creasy face, okay? I don't have Botox under my eyes. You can see I'm creasing. And I don't have Botox in the rest of my forehead. I have Botox right in my frown. I'm gonna grab powder puff. Any other powder puff, it can be from Sheen, it can be from Adore Beauty, it can be from wherever you want. So start here and then go up into the eye really work on pushing it into the skin. And this is gonna blur, this is gonna mattify. It's gonna keep everything on for so much longer, so much longer. Foundation is only gonna last as good as the formula of your foundation and your powder, that's it. If you're using, you know, some Garnier BB cream and it's not lasting all day, it may not be a long wearing BB cream. Or you may just need to be setting it better. As you can see, I still have a little bit of a glow on my nose. I'm gonna keep that. You're not just wearing this around your house like I am. Doing this makeup for an event, you are gonna have to set your jawline. The reason why is because if you're seeing people hugging and kissing people, hello, mwah, mwah, you're gonna be transferring fucking everywhere and you're gonna be everyone's worst nightmare. So set everything in place. Now we need to add some blush. The Mecca Max Off Duty Liquid Blushes. These are one of my new favorite products. This is in the shade Rosy. I cannot put this color down. Always pop a little bit on the back of my hand and then what the key to putting creams on top of a powdered base is to, one, grab a little setting spray. This is the Maybelline Glass. Now, I'm not gonna say that this is a dupe for the Tatcha Julie Setting Mist, but this does leave a little bit of glowy effect. A little bit of this, not too much. That's it. I'm gonna take a Stelazi cheek and chisel brush. I'm just gonna dip into a little bit of that cream blush, press it into the bristles. If you apply right here and that's where you powder it and then you blend it out this way, it's gonna pick up everything underneath it and it's gonna fuck your face up. Now, I'm just going to press that into my skin. Not dragging, just tapping. Can we see the difference that, that made to my face? We have glow, matte. Repeat on the other side. And I'm also going to pop a little bit of this just over the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my chin as well. We are nearly done. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Il Maquillage Black Swan Mascara. This is, as you guys know, my holy grail. I learned the other day, don't mind me just why I rip out my eyelashes. I learned the other day that the owner of MAC, Frank Toscan, or Frank Angelo, I can't remember, it was one of the Franks, actually used to stock Il Maquillage in like their hair salon, like back in Canada when they were first starting out. Really random, but I just learned that the other day and I was like, that is so random because I feel like Il Maquillage just come up in the last like four years, maybe four or five years. And I'm only applying a little bit of mascara just to give my face some dimension. And then to finish off the face, Maybelline Glass Spray. Like I said, only apply a small amount of this. You do not want to apply too much because if you do, it's, it's just not going to be the vibe, sis, okay? What happens is because it contains an oil, as it sits on your skin, if you over apply it, it's going to make things move and shift and crease so much quicker. So a small amount of this goes a really long way. And then again, just with the powder puff, reinforce your matte areas. Pop a lip balm on, you're good to go, sis. So that is the very, very simple look of how I managed to take 10 years off my parents and get ID'd at a casino. So random, but I feel like I just need to share some of these goodies. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you haven't seen my journey thus far, what I'm going through, bariatric surgery. Be sure to hit the i card that's popping up right now. If you have any questions about any of the products, be sure to leave them down below. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.